Hey, 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 what's up, Worship Boy G Shrimp? Everybody, favorite baby daddy voice of the street. And today we in <laughs> Detroit with it, man. And before I get uh, a before I start talking, man, I said I want to give a shout out to my man, President, down in Houston, man. He gave me a phone call, and I, I just want to let you know I appreciate it, brothers. I know men don't like expressing their feelings, you know. So when a man calls you and tell you he appreciate the show and uh, how much it means to him, it means something, man. They let me know a lot of people appreciate the work, you know. I'm used to hearing it from women and stuff like that, but it's even special when I hear it from the guys, man. I know the guys rocking, but that means something, bro. I appreciate it. Now, today we go be in Detroit, y'all. I'm going to let y'all uh, see this new place, and I'm going to come back with uh, my thoughts on this. Check this out, y'all. Pardon the body, y'all. Hold up one second. Now at six, she was seriously hurt getting her hair done at a Detroit business, and tonight, the city is shutting the place down. We've learned a hairstylist was running a salon out of a clothing store on Detroit's west side. And she placed a hairspray can too close to a heater. It exploded, sending a 14-year-old girl to the hospital. Sean Lay, following this story, let's get back to him outside Children's Hospital. You broke this story, uh, and now the city's launched an investigation, Sean. They have, after we asked some questions of the city about this, Tanasia Brown remains here at Children's Hospital. She's only 14. We found where she was badly injured, a mini salon, one chair in the very back of a clothing store up on Six Mile. And the city says tonight they're shutting that place down. 14-year-old Tanasia Brown remains in Children's Hospital. She suffered face fractures and lost sight in one eye after a can of hairspray exploded in her face. The teen saw a young woman on Instagram showing off her hair work, and she booked an appointment. That stylist alerts customers that she is unlicensed and says it was her fault that she placed a container of highly flammable, got-to-be freezing spray near her hot, curling iron heater. Something salon owners in this area say a licensed stylist would know not to put anything that flammable near something so hot. Tanisha's mom says the stylist didn't seem too concerned that her daughter was so badly injured. She was a bit nonchalant, had no concern. She says, I'm so sorry. I'm only 23. I don't have a license. We searched up and down West McNichols looking for the salon where Tanisha was injured. We found it. It's not a salon. It's in the back corner of a clothing store customers tell me the stylist's mother owns. And since we broke the story yesterday, a mom who took her daughter to the same stylist before her prom says the stylist allegedly offered her daughter marijuana and alcohol. Tanisha's mom says her daughter is now speaking more in the hospital. And today she told her the stylist was allegedly smoking marijuana when she arrived and allegedly offered it to her. David Bell is the director of the city's building safety and engineering department. He tells me tonight, quote, we are currently investigating this matter for now. We believe it's best to close the facility and defer to the state's investigation into the licensing of the cosmetologist. We asked the clothing store owner and the uh, stylist to speak with us again today. Devin and Kimberly, no response. Back to you. We'll stay on it, though. All right, Sean. Okay, so for people who kind of missed some of that, you know, what happened, what happened is, uh, looks like this girl, she was working out, uh, her mother owns a clothing store, right, y'all? So she set up a booth in the back, and she was doing hair, and she was taking her appointments off online. Now, she admitted that she wasn't licensed. So, I mean, I don't know how the lawsuit going to go, but it's going to affect all of them because it's going to get the mother business shut down. It's not going to really hurt the daughter. It's going to hurt the mother, though, because she going to lose her business because of what she did with her. And the lady said she was nonchalant, but she, I mean, ain't too much she could say, but she did say she wanted to come up to the hospital, but she didn't know how the family was going to receive her, if they was going to jump on her or not. So that makes sense not to go because you don't know, you know. And that girl, she got hurt, and it was her fault. She shouldn't have had that can because them cans, they're flammable, right? And she had, it wasn't just the regular curling eyes. It was the uh, thing that you put the curling eyes in. And she had a can kind of sitting next to it, and it got too hot. It exploded. Y'all know that stuff flammable. You see people put a lighter up, and they spray, and the fire jump out. So imagine if that much heat gets to that can. It exploded because the girl eye is gone, y'all. Her whole eye is gone. 
So this ain't no minor incident. This is really a major situation. And then if the news that you know is major, because they don't just pull up on anything, especially in, in the 8th mile like that. That's the slums of, uh, you know, Detroit, y'all. You know, that's the ghetto. They walk past that place 10 times. They looking for a salon, and all the time it's a clothing store. Because they didn't know. They didn't know. But I don't know how much this situation is going to affect the mother. I hope if the mother had insurance, she may be okay. But they may wriggle out of it because they don't got to pay because that's not part of your business. That's something she did. So they might be finna take a big L on this situation. So I'm not sure, man, you know. But uh, we go pray for the girl, man. Hope she get better, man. Uh, you don't want to see nobody hurt like that, especially a young girl. She was like 16. And, you know, that's kind of, you know, 14. She 14. Yeah, that's just, that's kind of bad there. Just imagine you taking your daughter. Oh, that probably would drive me crazy because I got a daughter. So if I took my daughter in there and I come back in her out, I would probably be tweaking hard. So she definitely don't need to go up to that hospital. Because she like to get her damn eye put out. You know, ain't no telling what they'll do to her. You know. So she doing it right. She needs to send some flowers, her apology, and just back up and let the lawyers deal with the situation, man. You know. And I ain't going to talk all day, man. I'm just letting you know what's happening, man. It's your boy G. Shrimp, everybody, fake baby, dead voice of the street. I'm out.